Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 25th of 2021. Well, it is titled Crescent Neptune and Triton. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken back in 1989 by the Voyager 2 spacecraft as it traveled by its fourth and final planet in its grand tour of the solar system. So Voyager 2 was actually able to, due to a nice alignment of the planets back in the 1970s, visit Jupiter and Saturn as well as Uranus and Neptune. And this is one of the images it took of Neptune. And in fact, it's an image that could not possibly be taken from Earth. From Earth, Neptune will always appear fully illuminated. And that's because of our position very close to the sun as observed by Neptune. So Neptune will always see us very close to the sun. We will always see Neptune as very opposite the sun and fully illuminated. So in order to see a crescent phase, you have to kind of move around to see a thin crescent. The planet has to be in the direction of the sun. Now, how do you do that? You can't do that from Earth, but you can from space. If you actually travel out to Neptune and around, then you can look back towards the sun and Neptune and see that Neptune will have phases just like any other solid object. So while we associate the phases with our moon, they are not tied to our moon and in fact have nothing to do with the moon specifically. They are simply a matter of geometry and that any object that's in illuminated by light will have half of it illuminated and the other half will be dark. And it also matters because you can only see half of any object at a given time. So a spherical object like our moon, we can always see half of it and not see the other half. When we look at Neptune, we always see the illuminated half. When we look at our moon, we see different portions of it, depending on where it happens to be in its orbit around Earth. So we can see different phases from a thin crescent up towards a full phase for our moon. When we look at Neptune, in order to see those other phases, we actually have to travel out beyond it. Now we see at Neptune here a very featureless surface out in the depths of the solar system where it's very cold. Uh, there are some slight structures into it, but nowhere near as many as we see with Jupiter and Saturn in much closer. We also can see Triton. Triton is the large moon of Neptune and in fact is one of the large moons of the solar system in with the four moons of Jupiter, one large moon of Saturn and our own moon here around Earth. So those are known as the large moons within our solar system. And you'll note that it's also in a crescent phase as seen from Voyager at this point. So this was the first and only time to date that we have actually explored the planet Neptune and that was the Voyager 2 spacecraft back in 1989. So that was our picture of the day for July the 25th of 2021. It was titled Crescent Neptune and Triton. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Galaxy Grabber. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.